I just found out this person exists. And I, I had to watch this because how the fuck are progressives hijacking Christianity? I thought they hated Christianity. I thought I thought they were like the atheists that wanted to destroy your trad fucking uber conservative religion shit. Like they hate church and everything. How are they hijacking it if they hate it? Why are these messages being mixed constantly by you idiots? Are taking over everything. And you'll see me talk on this channel all the time about entertainment, TV shows, movies, nerdy stuff, video games, even anime. She does it. She um she does the quarterly thing where she pretends to care about something, but it is just her bitching about it. I've I've watched a few videos. It is just her bitching about stuff. She doesn't actually talk about this stuff. It's just bitching. Which look, I'm gonna be frank with you. If all you do is bitch about something, you're not a fan. Like by definition, you're just not a fan. If all you do is bitch, you're not a fan. Because a fan would actually see some good things in the IP and not just find every little thing to bitch about. Like, there's no, not a fan on the earth who can be considered a fan who just sits there all day whining and bitching and moaning about something. Unironically, like, stop calling yourself a fan of stuff if all you do is bitch about it. Because obviously you don't like it. You're just mad about it and you want to cry. You're looking for a reason to be mad. ...where progressives are hijacking and uprooting these things for their own message that they are forcing on everyone. But it doesn't stop there. She does know that nobody's forcing her to sit down and watch this stuff, right? Like, nobody's forcing you to play games. You can do something else. You don't have to watch TV. You don't have to watch these movies. You can literally fuck off and do something else. <laughs> Nobody cares. I did not watch The Rings of Power or She-Hulk. I watched maybe a few scenes here and there. Like, at most I've watched maybe 20 minutes of an episode, if that. I just, it wasn't for me. I didn't like it. And guess what? I didn't watch it because I just didn't like it. It's very bizarre that I can look at something and go, you know, not for me. I don't really like it. And then I just stop watching it and caring. But to the terminally online crybaby snowflakes, they watch something they don't like and they just get mad about it. And so they have to keep watching it, keep playing it, keep reading it, just to have something to cry about. Again, it's just them crying about stuff they don't like for no other reason than I must be angry about something. Surely it's not my fault something is bad. It must be somebody else's fault. If I cry about it, maybe that'll solve the problem. Where? You know, the whole, you know, the 10 year old mentality of the conservatives. They also are hijacking Christianity. And what's sad is that a lot of churches and people, Christians, a bunch of fucking progressives kick down the door of the church, guns in hand, get on the fucking ground, preacher, this shit's ours now. They, like, throw down the cross and start preaching to the choir. Are conforming to it. What's up, my boomers? It's me, Melanie Mac, here on my normally nerdy commentary channel, but I'm going into... There's nothing nerdy about it. Also, I would not call her a boomer. She looks like she's 12 at a push. Like, she looks like a kid to me. <laughs> she tried to do the ironic... Hey, I'm a boomer like you, wink, wink, but she's really like fucking 12. Give us some more deeper social commentary on today's video. Obviously, if you're a Christian... Yeah, deep social commentary. There's nothing deep about these people. Don't let them get away with that. It's not deep. There's nothing critical. There's nothing deep about it. It is just whining. That's all it ever will be. That's all it ever was. That's all it's going to be. It's just whining. I mean, for fuck's sake, even I offer shit on my channels. That's not just me crying about shit. That's all these guys, they, they fucking just whine. At least I'll do something every so often and just me making fun of something in, like, a funny way. Like those old, um, those old, like, propaganda videos I did for a little bit. Occasionally I'll, um, I was gonna do a movie review kind of thing. Like, just, just to fucking have fun with it. But I'm lazy, so that's probably not gonna happen for a while. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, all they do is, like, cry about stuff. They're not, they're not even critical about it either. It's literally as skin deep as, oh... There's a black. Oh, this is obviously progressive, woke, SJW, communist propaganda. I hate it. I'm going to cry about it now and completely misrepresent everything in it, like a man being raped in it because, you know, it's woke and therefore I must hate it because that's what my audience wants. And, you know, they're a bunch of screeching man babies. Christian, I got a lot of opinions to share with you, uh, but if you're not a Christian. An opinion is like an asshole. You shouldn't be showing it to everybody. Take a seat. 
Oh, so you can blur it all you want. I can see the fucking, the little rack of shame back here, all right? I can see the shit you got put up here. I can see the shame. You're going to church today. <laughs> what are the odds that these are blurred because she has some um not safe for work stuff back here? Watch this video. I encourage you to do so. All right, so. Uh, like, like I can see the Laura Croft here. I can kind of guess what this is about. Like, I'm not an idiot. I can kind of see this stuff, even though it's blurred as fuck. As with anything, whenever I talk about the Bible and God and Jesus Christ and I- Oh shit, I just noticed she's got G Fuel back here. Holy shit, she's so fucking cool, guys. Look how cool she is. She's got G Fuel. That's so cool. Guys, she's cool. Not really. <laughs> Share uh, the word. It is always my intention to be as accurate as possible. Ha! Okay, so- I also want- She says while firing her gun directly into the ground while the target is 200 yards away. I want to acknowledge that I am a flawed human being, so- Deeply flawed, some would say. Just know, I do my absolute very best, but I no, always doesn't. encourage everybody to get into their Bibles themselves for clarity. Don't just take my word for it. I'm doing the best I can as a messenger, but I am a flawed human being. Now let me go ahead and dive in after I've said all that. So this is the first <laughs> ex Wait. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of true. He was a fucking hippie. Like, ironically, if you read the shit that Jesus was saying and doing, massive fucking hippie. He would be a libtard these days if he was ever out. In fact, a lot of his policies and like a lot of his teachings in that book kind of lean toward the um, anti-capitalist rhetoric kind of thing. He actually talks about having a lot of wealth as a bad thing. But yeah, he is a massive fucking libtard. I don't, I don't know why this is so hard for conservatives to grasp. He literally says, like, love your neighbor, um, the sick, the poor, the hungry. They should all be taken care of. You should be giving to charity, no matter what that person is, no matter their skin color, no matter their religion. You are all the same people under god you should be treating them as your brothers and sisters like a massive fucking hippie he should be wearing tie-dye in those fucking glasses to hide his beet red eyes from where he's been smoking fucking pot all day that's how much of a hippie this person was example i wanted to share with you guys and there's tons that i could go over which would take a ridiculous amount of time but let's start wait you obviously have not read the bible if he's saying this unironically this guy has not well of course he hasn't he's a fucking right winger Unironically, read the fucking Bible. Again, massive fucking hippie. He fucking took care of the poor and the sick, even though there was no incentive whatsoever. No reason whatsoever to do it. Like, this is not stuff conservatives do or traditionalists do. They're, they're literally like selfish assholes. Start with this. It says, hate liberals all week. Worship one on Sunday. This is, quite frankly, blasphemy. But to... no. Blasphemy would be me editing it in a dick going into his mouth. That would be blasphemous. Although we don't know what this guy's sexuality was. I, I don't know. Maybe he did like dick. I don't I don't know. It's not written. It did not go into his um proclivities there. That was a hard word for me to get out, and I tried to swallow my tongue. So I'm not going to say that anymore. <laughs> like, it, it never went into what he did in the bedroom. It, it just never came up in the book. <laughs> Very weird. To co-opt Jesus into their movement. I quote tweeted this and I'll share what I had to say momentarily, but let me just kind of un uh, I'm just gonna fucking stunt on her for a minute. I've gotten more likes on a fucking shit post on Twitter before. <laughs> like, me making a crack about shoving a cucumber up my ass got more likes than she got in this. Uh, I'm just gonna fucking stand above her with my smug sense of superiority of my long dead account that got more likes than her on a fucking post where I talk about a cucumber going up my rectum. Also one where I talk about a woman on her period. That got like fucking 10,000 likes for some reason. <laughs> Again, my Twitter was very hit or miss on whether or not you really wanted to see it with your family in the room or not. <laughs> Unpack a little more first. So, before I continue on this specific one here, I am not saying Jesus is a Republican either. Or a conservative either, okay? Because in doing so, I would be a hypocrite in a lot of ways. The reason why 
is because Jesus is God. Okay? Jesus is not confined to the... He's not God. He's the Son of God. Did I mishear her? The reason why is because Jesus is God. Okay? No, I did not mishear her. She called Jesus God. Did you not read the book? They're two different people. This is this is the son of the god. This is the offspring. Like the whole the whole Mary in a fucking I don't what well a manger, like that whole this is the guy. Like this is the dude. Jesus is not confined to the U.S. political system. She she comes off very unhinged with her hair, by the way. It, it's kind of creeped me out. Also, going by what we know today, yeah, massive liberal. Yes, it is kind of stupid to say, well, he was totally a, a socialist or – that's kind of dumb, but by today's standards, he would kind of be. <laughs> like, if he came back today, these guys would be throwing rocks at him and calling him a fucking communist, such as their brainwashing. But, like, we have to look at things from our perspective. We can't really look at things from that perspective. It just doesn't exist. All right, that's not to say that one side doesn't favor more of God's teachings more than the other, which obviously... Which is obviously the libtards, you know. And I call them libtards because, of, well, they're idiots. Liberals are dumbasses, unironically. <laughs> Anybody who says they're not is a filthy liberal, and you will get banned. Get fucked. That would be the conservative side, but... Um, yeah, Jesus well known for handing out AR-15s and telling people to cap every motherfucker that came into the yards. Because, you know, you have a God-given right to murder people. Jesus well known for telling people to lock brown people into camps on the border because, you know, sovereign rights of nations and all. So we totally need to lock them into camps and gas, rape, beat, and abuse them. That was something Jesus said. Fun fact. He also said... That you should be, you know, raping children and grooming children, which is something that conservatives love to do. And I have actually fought to keep illegal in this state. Not to mention all the times we have caught conservatives raping and grooming children to be, you know, fucking pedophiles themselves. Like, these idiots unironically see themselves as some kind of righteous force in the world. When they are literally that joke of... Have courage, my friend. Yeah, I Hans, I've just noticed something. These communists are all cowards. <laughs> Have you looked at our caps recently? Our caps? The badges on our caps. Have you looked at them? What? No. A bit? They've got skulls on them. <laughs> Have you noticed that our caps have actually got little pictures of skulls on them? I, I don't, sir. Uh... Hans... Are we the baddies? Politics are flawed. Politicians are flawed. And so this isn't me just trying to put Jesus on my side and put Jesus in a box. I'll say that. I mean, you, you literally just did that. You literally just put him on a side in a box. You literally just said he would definitely be on someone's side. That side would be ours, of course, because we're the best one, of course. Like, you literally did the thing that you're saying that you're not doing while you were doing it. Why do they keep doing this shit? Oh, yeah, I'm not racist. I just don't like those N-words. I'm totally not racist, by the way. Every fucking time they do that, it, it, they do the thing while saying that they aren't doing the thing. And it's very sad that their audience falls for it. It makes me lose all faith in humanity going forward. Are you really so fucking stupid that you would see somebody do a thing, say, of course, I'm not doing that thing, right after doing the thing, and then go, oh, I guess they're not doing the thing, so it's okay now. It's very weak-minded to me, like you bunch of fucking sheep. That much. Get it, sheep? I, I did the joke. Haha. -ha. So, let me continue with this anyway. First of all, they have- Whose fake laugh is more annoying, mine or hers? Because I'm betting mine is, because it's the man laugh, right? Nobody likes the man laugh. The man laugh is very annoying. Especially when it comes from someone with a fucked up throat like mine. It's very annoying. But hers is- just high pitch enough to be kind of fucking annoying. I, I can't imagine listening to her do the fake laugh for more than like 10 minutes. 
have no idea what they're talking about to you, you pe liberals who say this let me just share what i said here okay so progressives will say jesus was a liberal but wow she completely missed the entire fucking point also he I, he didn't do the commandments um he did not do the commandments by the way also again we're talking about what he said and preached which is yeah liberal shit do charity be kind to your neighbor Turn the other cheek when you get fucking slapped. That, that, that's like liberal shit. We would classify that as being a liberal these days. She she whiffed so fucking hard here. Jesus was, Okay, so you support following his commandments then? I'm pretty sure he didn't do the commandments. He didn't, he didn't do the commandments. That was like God and Moses, I believe. No, was it Moses? Who the fuck did the commandments? Hold up. I'm just going to take this moment to be smug as fuck. I was right, it was Moses. Inscribed by the finger of God. Jesus was not involved, motherfucker. Oh, my God. That was a fucking voice. <coughs> Ugh. Anyway, I was right. It was Moses. He did the whole thing. Also, this is from the Torah. Like, who's going to... Who? Why is it whenever this gets explained to um Christians, they get weird about it? By the way. Like, all these are based on the same shit. But the Ten Commandments... They were made by God. Moses brought them down, and then he fucking smashed them. Like, Jesus was not involved in this. And, of course, it depends on your religion and, um, your denomination, I believe it's called. And, of course, if you're a fucking Scientologist or a Mormon, this means nothing to you. Like, this, this doesn't, it's got nothing to do with space aliens or space spirits. So it means nothing to you. Of course, I don't know what the fuck the Mormons believe in. They're just kind of weird. Video is 21 minutes long, and um, we're only three minutes in, so I'm going to stop talking so much. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. But then if you say, okay, so you support and follow his commandments then. Progressives. Confused Pikachu. So that's where... Confused Pikachu. Hey. A, a lot of their argument falls... <laughs> I don't know why she pisses me off when she talks like that. Maybe it's because I'm actually older than this woman's fucking parents. But that kind of, it, just, it annoyed the shit out of me. Her, hearing her say that annoyed me for some reason. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. All right, go to your room. Go to your room. No dinner for you. That's your punishment. How dare you? How dare you try and be one of the hip, cool kids who are up with the lingo. Falls flat here. They want to use Jesus for their own to push the- Also, this is literally just a meme. Like, she's triggered by a meme. This is this is me posting a meme about like the, the silence liberal meme and somebody getting mad about it. Same thing. Their own narrative, but they blaspheme Jesus on the regular, and they do not follow his teachings. They've made up a false god, an idol, and use death to the false emperor. Jesus's name for that, which is terrible. Now, here's something, when you really look at the progressive movement and the woke movement, it's it's a religion. And like I said, they use they will use things like Jesus, but it is a religion. Okay? And when you really look at the fundamentals, let's look at the fundamentals of Christianity and what Christianity is supposed to be. The Bible teaches us that humans are all imperfect, but can be redeemed no matter what their past looks like. The religion of wokeness demonstrates the opposite. Be perfect. Anything in your past will be used against you for life. No redemption, no forgiveness. Hide those skeletons. This is... Why do I get the feeling she's called somebody the N-word in the past and that's why she's so mad? Also, it's not about not forgiving people. It's that you do something dumb or racist and then you double down on it. That's what pisses people off. It's not that you did something in the past and then you, like, changed as a person or, you know, stopped doing it 20 years ago. It was literally, like, for fuck's sake, um, fucking even James Gunn got a pass for his bullshit. And his his tweets were pretty fucking horrific. Like, even if you weren't woke or whatever, it, it, it was just socially unacceptable shit. Like, people moved on from that fairly quickly because it didn't really matter. But it's like, most of the time when it's one of these idiots, it's like, oh, yeah, I did call that black person the N-word. And I do it again because freedom of speech, brah. And then they say the N-word again, and then it's like, okay, you're socially unacceptable now. We're not going to associate with you anymore. Go fuck yourself. 
and then they get mad and say they were canceled for something that happened like 20 years ago. No, you got canceled for shit that happened this year. You did the thing again, doubled down, and said you did nothing wrong. You should have learned. Also, again, I got 10,000 likes on a, on a tweet. Get, get fucked. Cancel culture in a nutshell. And when you see in the Bible, Jesus... Cancel culture. It's not a thing. It's still not a thing. Cancel culture to these people is... Somebody disliked your tweet. That's cancel culture to these people. It, it, they, you got canceled because somebody didn't like your tweet. That's all it takes anymore. Spoke out against the Pharisees. Was very harsh against the Pharisees. And this progressive movement, and a lot of these progressives and a lot of these people who are part of this woke movement are not self-aware enough to realize that they are acting as the Pharisees. They are self How did reality not crumple her into a little black hole for that? The amount of just irony that came out of that, that fucking statement. Righteous. There is no form of forgiveness to be seen. There is no self-awareness. I was literally a far writer about, what, six years ago? I'm not really getting pounded into the ground by the left. Most people seem pretty okay with it. To their own shortcomings. and Mainly because I have nice man tits. Sometimes they will use God, the Bible, and Jesus. Maybe that's her problem. She's got nothing. She's got nothing. And that's why she's not accepted by the left. We only care about boobs and feet. Jesus Christ to push that. Now, when it comes to... Also, again, keep in mind, this is literally just a fucking meme that she saw and got triggered by. It's, it's literally just a fucking meme. This is getting mad at a meme. When it comes... A meme, by the way, that I showed my fucking mother and grandmother, one of which is a Sunday school teacher, and the other is uber-religious to the point where she is homophobic as fuck. And they both laughed and agreed with it. They thought it was funny. And my grandmother gets mad if you so much as say Jesus Christ out of hand. Obviously, this is not blasphemy. It's just a meme. Like, get over yourself. I mean, I would bet, you know, 50 bucks that he would laugh at it if he saw the meme himself. I'm pretty sure he has a good sense of humor. It comes to knowing the scripture, talking about the scripture, and this is what makes it so terrible, is that... They <laughs> then again, am I the only one who imagines, like, Jesus Christ is, like, um, a lot, like... Iro from like the last um, the last airbender like that kind of attitude to people that's what I'm imagining with Jesus I, I don't know why but that's what I kind of get I think he would laugh at this a little bit like huh and then just kind of move on they're taking they're taking the scriptures they're taking Jesus they're taking God and they're blaspheming and disrespecting it by forcing it into their he, he doesn't even have like um <clears throat> like bisexual robes on that would be the, like the big thing for me like Put the bisexual light, and then like make him wear like rainbow robes. That would be like the kicker for this. It would make this funnier. Your own narrative, and and just because somebody can say and recite some color his beard, the colors of the, like the trans flag, as he's wearing like the pride robes with like the bisexual lighting behind him. Like that would be a good meme, and then just have this shit on it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Versus. And twist them into their narrative. But just because they may know some verses does not mean they are good. All right? You don't know any verses. You have fucked up, what, twice? Said that Jesus was God. He's not. And then she said um, he wrote the Ten Commandments when he didn't. Again, that was God. <laughs> like, she doesn't know the fucking scripture. Hey, right, this is important. Oh, because my gosh. She's doing the Satan thing. Ironically enough, again, don't they read stuff like this and go, huh? And then, like, look at the little Jesus figure they tried to create out of Trump and think, maybe we've got this a bit backwards. Maybe the people who are constantly standing in the pulpit and disclaiming themselves as the next messiah are the, um, the baddies who are trying to corrupt religion. No, no, no. It's obviously the people who just make memes that are corrupting religion and are Satan. Because even when you look in the Bible, as in 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen, it says, And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Do not... Now do it in Hebrew or Greek. That's what I want to see. Just because I think Hebrew and Greek look fucking hilarious for some reason.
It, it, it's all gibberish to my American mind. Put your trust in people who claim to be righteous. Because... Like conservatives, the GOP, Trump, the people you vote for and defend... You yourself, who are dependent, who are um, pretending to be righteous and just on your channel, while screeching like an insane person at people who disagree with you politically. Remember, when you point at somebody with an accusation, you have like three fingers pointing back at you. Like you see here, even Satan disguises himself. <laughs> what, as what was it about stones and glass houses, Miss? Also, where are your parents? You should not be throwing stones in your house. It's very, very um, not good. An angel of light. Even Satan uses <laughs> scripture. Wasn't Satan an angel at one point? So it would make sense that he would know how to like hide as one. And I'm wondering which kind is it. Is this like the new angel, which is like the blonde, blue eyed, white dude with wings? Or is this like the old fashioned angel, which is just a horror show of eyeballs, rings, and wings? Sure. For bad and twist scripture for bad. What you'll see here is Jesus when Jesus was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. And the Bible tells us to fast and pray, uh, whether it be for deliverance, for forgiveness, for a number of things. You might have something in your life that you really uh, that you really want and that you really are praying for. And fasting can be very beneficial. And in my opinion, the reason for that is you're denying your flesh of the very basic thing that it wants the most is food. And uh, instead, giving that time to God. And so it puts you more in tune uh, with your spirit and uh, can make you closer to God. That's my interpretation of what fasting is for. And so as you can see here is Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Holy shit. I just noticed her taskbar. She's got like 20, like fucking eight of these. What the fuck? Why? Why do you have eight scriptures lined up like an idiot? And he was hungry. I mean, he came to earth as a human being. So he had, he, he wasn't able to just, okay, let me fast for 40 days and 40 nights and just be immune to hunger. So let's not talk about how he came to earth because it raises some questions about consent. Oh, did Mary know that she was being impregnated by God? Was this something that was sprung on her at the last moment? Like the mechanics of this situation kind of boggles my mind a bit. Was this a conversation that they had? D did he bring flowers? Was he gentleman about it? I, I kind of want to know. I, w I would watch a show that is just about, like, God meeting Mary and leading up to their first date. I would watch that, unironically. Satan says, if you are the son of God, command these stones to become loaves of bread. And then that's where Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him. And then he turned water into fucking alcohol, which is kind of metal. ...to the holy city and set him on the pinnacle. Why do he just turn him into bread? <laughs> then turn him back into rocks and he tries to eat him. Like, fuck with him. ...pinnacle of the temple and said to him, If you are the son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you. See how Satan uses the Bible for... The Bible bad he twists it and <clears throat> uses it for bad and so you can you'll see that uh you'll see a lot of people oh, do the same going. as well and in this case uh, it's a meme by the way again this is this brought about by a meme i'm guessing this was a slow news day and she just had to find something to be triggered about um through yeah this whole movement also she plays video games right it says right here she loves gaming isn't that kind of slothful of you to play video games instead of worshiping him isn't, isn't that what this is kind of about? Shouldn't you be worshiping God instead of playing video games where you act as a God figure? Seems kind of blasphemous to me. Using scripture. Unironically, that is an argument made by the church to get rid of video games and have them banned. It is blasphemous and slothful. Therefore, they are bad and should be banned. Which makes the whole, like, Christian gamer thing funny to me. For their own movement. And sadly, you'll even see it in progressive churches as well. But I think with a lot of churches, it's not necessarily to force a Fuck. force an ideology, which maybe it is in some of them. But I think some of it is just every church I've ever been to and known have been using the scripture to twist people into conformity or into an ideology. There were churches where I lived that unironically said. Trump was the new Jesus. 
during their fucking um, sermons. I'm not fucking kidding. There were churches that did that here. And they lost not a single fucking worshiper. Because these guys are fucking idiots. They literally brought forth a false prophet, a false fucking messiah in a suit with a bad tan. And they're going to point fingers at everybody else in the world and say, no, you're being the bad one. You're being the blasphemous. You're creating the false prophets and the false idols. You're using scripture for the evil. Meanwhile, their false messiah gassed protesters out in front of a church so he could stand in front of it and take a picture with a Bible he never fucking read. The hypocrisy on display here is fucking staggering. How can you sit there and pretend to give a fuck about this book and the people inside of it and the gods when your entire thing is literally being a dumb fuck and de just decrying everything in that book as evil, bad, and embracing shit that it literally warns you against? Just conforming, which we're told not to do either, which I will... Uh, dive into that for a minute, but here's something else I wanted to share, and I've I've said this in other and at least one other video before, and that's that this whole one reason why I speak out so much against this woke. Wait, go back. Conform to the authorities. How how dare you peasants rise against your superiors, you 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 infidels, and then they cut your head off because you're an infidel. Another reason why I'm not too big of a fan of religion is because they use shit like this to, like, make you conform to government. But only their government, remember. Remember, when their people were in charge, the government is perfect. It can do no wrong. If Trump had been the one to add all that money and agents to the IRS, they would not have said a word about it. But because it wasn't their man doing it, big government, bad, me no likey government, um, bad, bad IRS, me hate. And they get mad about it. They're all about authority. And it's very fucking annoying. At least one other video before. And that's that this whole... One reason why I speak out so much against this woke movement. Against this self-righteous woke movement. It goes so much deeper than just... Oh, my favorite video game character is being changed. You know? Which still sucks. But it goes so much deeper than that. I truly believe that this whole movement. This whole progressive movement. A lot of stuff that we're seeing is from the devil and it might sound extreme and people might the real satanists are the friends we made along the way fellas let's be honest I think i'm crazy for it but go ahead think i'm oh, oh we're far past people believing you're crazy i mean just the presentation that you're showing right now you're fucking nuts the words are just extra crazy when you look at the bible here ephesians like 30 years ago she would be on the um highway right now smacking cars with a bible and screaming about the end being nigh. But because the internet kind of promotes idiocy and um, insanity to an extreme degree, she has a fucking living wage and shit. Which is fine, but I feel like it promotes unhealthy lifestyles. In the same way that a street performer, you know, slowly peeling his dick with a fucking vegetable peeler would get attention and maybe some money. But we really shouldn't be promoting that as a safe thing to do, you know? It's just kind of weird. 612 says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. There are so many battles and so many obstacles that we're facing in our lives. We can be facing in our day-to-day -day lives. We're on a grander scale of collectively as a society. That people just think, oh, your battle, you, you know what? Your battle isn't just against people. Your battle isn't just a common disagreement with people. There are so many times that we don't even realize there are evil forces. No, it's mostly against people. I don't count corporations as people, although they are run by people, but it's mostly against just people. Mainly that 1% of people who have all the money and do everything in their power to keep us all poor and powerless so we can't change anything. Fuck them, by the way. Forces at at play here, and I thousand percent believe this woke movement, which teaches self righteousness, which teaches. <laughs> she saw Devil May Cry, like the anime of it, and thought it was real. That's why she thinks there's like demons and devils around every corner. People that they don't need Jesus <laughs> is from the devil. P 
Period. I mean, Europe is, um... Certain countries in Europe are far less religious than Americans, and they seem to be doing fine. I, I'm just going to put that out there. They seem to be doing fine, and they don't really need the Bible. All right? And that's why it's so important. This is why the Bible tells us. Ephesians 6, 11, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. When I would only be willing to wear the armor if it was in my personalized uh, color scheme. Red with white highlights. That's it. That's all. I, I refuse anything short when it comes to my armor. I don't like the aesthetics. And it better not be that gaudy shit that's like pure gold. Like, fuck, fuck you if you like pure gold armor. You flashy motherfucker. How dare you? How dare you wear gold? Makes me want to smack you upside the head. When we're not prayed up, when we're not in our... <laughs> we're not prayed up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yo, dog, I'm all prayed up and ready to go. Let's get this shit done. And then he pulls out, like, his Bible, and they sit down all formally at a table and, like, read scripture. To <laughs> Bibles, when we're not in prayer, we become spiritually weaker. And what that does is it affects our discernment as well. And so there are times where somebody can, you know, like I said, Satan disguises himself. Like the Bible tells us, Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Look what happens in this progressive movement in general. What is the one thing that they try to act like they're doing all of this for? It's to be self-righteous. It's because, oh, because we care. Oh, you know, this is all just about. Which side constantly claims to be on the side of God to be self-righteous, to be moral, to be against degeneracy, to be against... Ruination. They, they, they are pure in their thoughts and actions, you see, for they believe in the God. By the way, give us money so that we can buy a private jet, go down to, Cali go down to Texas and hunt endangered wildlife for, for fun. I'm not fucking kidding. A preacher did this. You know, you know, I'm just saying, like, there's one side that is literally saying that they are the soldiers of God, should be worshipped as such, and act like they're super moral about everything. And it's not the fucking progressives. The progressives don't give a shit about this bullshit. It, it doesn't mean anything to most of them. Most of them are atheists. They don't care. Again, th that, was a, that was a fucking meme to make fun of essentially people like her who pretend to be religious but don't really understand the words being said. But, like, you guys are doing the thing you're saying that the other side is doing. Again, we've come to the point where you were saying... They are the bad guys while you do the thing. You are, you're, you're literally doing the are we the baddies thing, but you're not realizing you are the baddie here. At one point, where does self-reflection kick in? Just like on a universal level where it's just, no, dumb fuck, pay attention to what you're saying and doing. Look, for fuck's sake, look. And like force her to have some iota of fucking um, introspection here. Like, you're doing the thing. You're claiming to be self-righteous and perfect and damning everybody else for not agreeing with you. Like, you put yourself upon a pedestal, motherfucker. It's about tolerance. It's just about loving people. It's about loving... Tolerance, she does. In... So she definitely called somebody the N-word at one point and got kicked out of a friend group. Because she said tolerance, by the way, I'm just going to put up the tolerance paradox because apparently they really don't know what that means. Because they really just want to be dicks to people for no reason. ...thy neighbor. That's the way that they package it. That's the way they present it. But anybody who has been on the wrong side of this progressive movement will see that it's anything but that. And it's about... You know, if she were a man, I would think she probably tried to rape somebody. But since she's a woman, I can only assume she called somebody the N-word. And got on the wrong side of a fucking debate. ...control. Okay? So whenever you see something, I myself have have fallen for a lot of these whole woke agenda schemes. I never went like super full woke or anything, but I you never go full woke. That's how you end up like um, what the fuck's his name? DJ Mule, the guy who literally made excuses for abusive relationships because the woman cried a little bit for him. I did fall into it before because I thought, oh, wow, 
this is great. This is a noble thing. They care about people. And during that time, I was weak in my faith. There was a time that I, like, walked away from my faith. So I didn't have the full armor of God on. I wasn't prayed up. I wasn't in my word and strong. Her Bible, which is God's word ass. And so I wasn't able to discern the evil behind it. And so this is why so many people and even a lot of... Notice she's not really explaining where this evil is or how she came to this conclusion. She's just kind of saying, well, they're evil because reasons and like vaguely gesturing at Bible verses. Where's the evil? Like you're not explaining anything. You're just kind of saying they were mean to me. Therefore, they are bad. Oh, okay, I, I could push your shit in, too. That doesn't make me bad. Well, it makes me bad to you, but it doesn't make me bad to most people. Most people don't give a shit. But it doesn't make me bad. It just kind of means I did something you disagree with. You see what I'm saying here? You're not explaining anything. Okay, why is me pushing your shit in and taking your lunch money bad? Well, because bullying is wrong, because assault is wrong, because theft is wrong, right? You're not explaining that, though. You're just saying, well, they're bad. Okay, why? Why are they bad? You're just, you're just kind of accusing, making accusations? Where's your proof? Christians falling into this and conforming to it or anything else that may be disguised. A hardcore Christian crying that other people are conforming for fuck's sake. This is good, but isn't. Because you got to put on the armor of God. I cannot stress enough how important this is. Now, when you look at, there is an article shared to me by Nate on Twitter um, I haven't read the whole thing, but I want to go. How hard did that simp come when she, like, said his name just now? That's what I'm wondering. Like, how hard did he fucking blow his load? Oh my god, she said my name. And then he, like, fucking dies. Over some of the bullet points on it that I thought were good. Uh, it says it's not progressive Christianity. <laughs> it's accommodationist Christianity, and it has nothing of Christ in it. Which I 1,000% agree with that headline right there. Now you look at, um... They're twisting Jesus to fit their narrative, as I've said with that one meme. Uh, that they'll take bits. Of she literally called it a meme, and still, it, it just it never clicked for. Her. In pieces, you know, of Jesus, where he was, uh, where he demonstrated, you know, being loving, love thy neighbor, all this stuff, really good things. They'll use those and completely ignore. When Jesus told us that he didn't come to earth to abolish the law or nullify the law. He came to to show us how it's done and to be our savior. Okay? Jesus does not ever condone... They make him sound so fucking metal when all he really did was bum around and be a hippie. Sin. Now, they'll use, like, when Jesus <laughs> like, said... He, it was just... Dude with long hair, bums around for a while, acts like a massive fucking hippie, and then gets murdered by the Romans. That's the whole book. It, it, it's just him bumming around and then being murdered. He, he wasn't sit down, you know, strapped to the fucking nines to, to, to create a new kingdom or whatever. That's not what happened. Those without sin cast the first stone. That was to show everybody, hey, you're all sinners. You ain't righteous. But By the way, if that happened today, every conservative would throw a rock immediately. Every one of them. They would not understand a word of it, and they would just start chucking rocks. Because they all believe they are self-righteous in everything they do. Even the horrible shit. You know, forcing children to get genital checks in schools and stuff, that's righteous to them. Because they have it in their fucking minds that they are the good guys. Again, every villain believes they are the good guy of their story. That is unironically the way the conservatives see themselves. They aren't bad. Nothing they do is bad. Everything they do is good. They're the good guys here. Everybody else is the baddies because the indoctrination is so fucking thorough. They have no self-reflection. Oh, is what I'm doing possibly leading to, you know, all this death and problems in our nation? No, no, no. That, it can't be me. I'm the good guy. It must be the other people, the other guys, the baddies I've been hearing about on Fox News so much. They're the problem. And then you sit by and let a fucking authoritarian dickhead become president, build concentration camps out by the border, and restrict your rights to the point where he threw people into black unmarked vans and held them for hours on end. No reading of their rights, 
no arrest, no proper cops. It was all secret police bullshit, and you said, this is acceptable to me because I'm the good guy, and those guys are obviously the bad guys. Therefore, any crime against them is good. But it was in no way to condone sin or to tell people to go on sinning, and that sin is okay. Uh, he kind of did, by the way. He, he didn't really stop anybody from sinning. He just kind of told them not to and walked away. Again, massive fucking hippie. And the Bible is very clear and tells us, and this is one reason why I feel like a lot of churches or a lot of Christians even fall into this progress. If I look up this Tom Gilson person, what am I going to find? What I found on this guy after a quick Google search, I found an atheist website where they um, basically debate people like him. He got a shit ran by atheists. They talk shit about him in their little, you know, little comments underneath articles and stuff. Well, they started talking about his arguments there. He showed up, tried to defend himself, failed, got ran twice. So, you know, massive fucking meme that can't even defend his own bullshit. Goddamn. Uh, if, anybody wants, if anybody wants that uh, website, by the way, I'll go ahead and post it if you ask in the comments. It's, it's, if you're an atheist, it's probably an interesting read. I don't find it very interesting myself. I, I just don't care about the argument, but... He couldn't really defend himself very easily, and the atheist kind of ran his shit. ...of Christianity and conform, uh, because they want acceptance from other people. The Bible tells us, so I wish I pulled up the verse for this, but I'm just kind of going off the top of my head here. You had time to prepare all this, and you're just going off the top of your head, huh? Interesting. So I didn't think to include it, but the Bible does tell us, hey, the world hated Jesus, and Jesus was perfect. So they're going to hate us, too. They're going to hate us for following. I mean, not really. I mean, certain people in the world hated him. That's why they put him to a cross. Jesus. And we have to be okay with that. And so whenever we fall into this and we can... Well, hate's a strong word. I suppose, technically speaking, he was a criminal. Under Roman law, but that's about, that's about as far as that goes. Form to this progressive Christianity that that completely distorts what the Bible teaches us. Uh, what we're doing is we're choosing the acceptance of man over God. So you're making an idol in a so in a sense. The Bible is very clear. clear. Romans twelve two says, "Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind." That by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. We can't conform. We can't tell people, you know, we are to love people, but we can't tell people, yeah, you can go ahead and keep on living in sin and you're still going to go to heaven. Now, while we all have to... I mean, in a way, you can easily do that. It's, there, it's none of your concern. Unironically, you're actually being very sinful by doing that because them sinning or not sinning is between them and God why are you trying to be God by forcing them to do what you want them to do except that we are sinners and we have to accept the sacrifice that Jesus Christ made for us in order to get into heaven and there's no way that we can absolutely be perfect moving forward the Bible does say in Hebrews 10 26 and 27 for if we go on sinning deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful expectation of judgment and a fury of fire that will consume the adversaries. So you cannot tell people, you cannot give a sugar-coated message of, yes, you can live in sin all you want because Jesus died. Uh, you can. Again. You're not really supposed to be ordering them around. That's not what you're here for if you spread the word. Again, you're, you're kind of sinning by doing that. It is up to them and the free will they were given by God whether or not they will follow the teachings or not, whether they want to live in sin or not. It's not really your role to force anything upon them. It's kind of weird that you're saying that they should be forced to follow your religion as well, as not every everybody in the world is religious, neither, nor are the ones that are religious all follow your God or your specific sect of God. 
what is a sin to you may not be a sin to somebody else of a different religion or atheism or whatever. You're doing a lot of things wrong here, my friend, and you're coming off extremely radical to the point where I would compare you more to ISIS than um, a normal human being. Right on the cross for you, and we're not going to be perfect anyway. You cannot lead people. Funny little anecdote, by the way. I work with people who are from the Middle East. Like, they left to get away from that kind of shit. And they said it was very weird to live in the land of the free, as they were told. To turn on the TV and then hear people talk like they did back home. Like, talk about burning their enemies in a holy fire and stuff. It, they said it was very weird. They didn't understand. Well, they understood the message, but they didn't understand why this was happening here. And it was always a point of, yeah, we, we kind of have to let them do that because our laws say so. And, they, and one guy just kind of shook his fucking head like he was just sick of this shit. <laughs> Weird. Like, that guy who uh, shook his head, by the way, he spoke French. And I think one other, I can't remember what other language, but he spoke like two languages, was highly educated, and the only reason he was working the job he was working was because he was still trying to learn English. Like, he had a bad accent, you could barely get through to him sometimes. But, um, well fucking learned. Very interesting person to talk to. People is stray that way. When we can understand each other, sadly. Okay. Uh, another Bible verse, uh, I, you'll have to Google it because I didn't pull it up and it just come to my head. Was that like when you lead the children astray or even like, like, like the young in faith, the people who aren't built up, who aren't super strong in their faith. Those who aren't groomed is what she's trying to say. Right away. When you lead them astray, it's better to tie a stone around your neck and be tossed into the sea. Uh, I really wish I was quoting that word for word <laughs> or that I pulled it up, but it's true. Again, coming off very radical with this shit at this point. Like, goddamn, talk about murdering people. So we cannot be for acceptance reasons. Is it going to make people like you more? Yes. You're and if you enable people, it, 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 they're going to like you more. It's not really enabling to not force your values on other people. Like, you can speak against it. But, like, you're not enabling it if you speak against it. But, again, to force yourself upon them in any way is kind of against the teachings as well. It doesn't mean it's good for them. Oh, yeah, it's okay to do this. Just like we shouldn't be enabling people with their general health, you know? You watch these My 600 Pound Life, and usually they've got an enabler in their life. And look what it does to them. It, it, it makes them... Uh, stuck. It makes them stuck in a rut. Whenever they've got, like, their partner bringing them... You know, bags and bags of McDonald's and Pizza Hut and all this stuff. And fried food and stuff that's making them stay fat and get fatter. It's putting them in a position to where th they're going to have an early grave. It's bad for them. It's not good for them in any way. But... Is she alright? She looks like she's having a heart attack. It gets them... You know, that it saves them from an argument. But is it worth it if you truly, truly care... You're not going to enable people. And that's important. And that doesn't mean I think that we're supposed to be going around and condemning all random people, you know, individually. We should be sharing. I mean, that is what you've been saying for the past, like, two minutes. That you sh that it's enabling if you just let them be themselves, that you should be screaming at them like an idiot. We should be sharing the word and we should be sharing the gospel and we should be sharing... God's commandments and what's right and what's wrong and that sort of thing. But uh, I do think that it's not our place to just walk up to a stranger and be like, hey, you shouldn't be doing this. You know, there's a way to do it in the Bible really goes more into detail about that. I think especially when you have like a close relationship or something with somebody, just as you would intervene in a way of like, okay, say you see your friend just going down a bad path. Let's say they get involved in drugs and they're, they're killing themselves. Um, you know, if that's your your friend and someone you're close to, you're going to want to intervene and you're going to want to walk in. And with love, you're going to want to have like an intervention of sorts. And in that same way, when you see somebody uh, damaging their, their spirit and, and walking down a path uh, that, you know, could lead to, uh, you know, <laughs> that could lead to them going to hell, you know, quite bluntly.
Uh, yeah, if it's somebody, your you're loved one that you're super close to, you're going to want to, with love, talk to them about it. Uh, so there's, there's, that's for a whole other video, but anyway, this is where we're at. Uh, even, even the church that I, we're at basically where we started her being an idiot was going to, I'm looking for a new church because she, she, she bored me so much. I stopped paying attention to her there for a bit. I missed nothing. They were conforming. I, there, I saw, I've heard things being preached that I felt like were conforming to progressive Christianity and not actually in line with god's word and so it just i just didn't really feel right she's real desperate to create this um divide and um you know, a bit of fucking religious warfare here like they're not the real ones they're the fake ones unlike us the real ones the real righteous ones the real pure ones unlike those guys who are unpure and unrighteous and immoral the degenerates if you will they're the baddies not like us we're the good right in my heart and so i'm looking for for another church so at the end of the day this is where we're at. The progressives have hijacked absolutely everything, and it's so important for us to stand up against this. We cannot allow this to happen. Will it give you enemies? Will it possibly get you banned on social media um, for sharing certain things you're against? Uh, maybe. All right. She, she definitely called somebody the N-word at some point on Twitter. That's why she's mad. I, I fucking guarantee. She said something like that on Twitter and got banned, and that's why she's butthurt about progressives. Also, if that face doesn't just perfectly, like, fucking frame this woman. Like, goddamn. Bratty, sneering, fucking... Oh, wait. Watch some more horror. She does something pretty fucking cringe here in a second. Be to step in and pray with you. Uh... If that is uh, what you want. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. And in the meantime, go boom. See what I mean about the cringe? Ugh. Anyway, I'm not going to bully this child anymore. Let's move on. Oh, my God. She did a predator review. No. I'll look at that. I'll look at that another day. I'm not going to bother today because I can't stare at that face anymore.